So we're in Montgomery. It's been raining a whole lot. And uh, my contractor called me and told me it may be some possible flooding uh, at the property, which is always, man, you know, literally it's always something. <laughs> uh, but I think all of the water is draining down towards the house, uh, which, which, oh my word, look at this though. Look, look at these houses though, boy. Come on, look at them, boy. Yes, sir. No, bro. Hey, man, listen, we got it, we got it. Man, listen, I understand you had to open up the pocket, bro. You know what I'm saying? But man, Ooh. come on, man, come on, man, come on. Open? Come on. Yeah. You got it? I gotta go tap into some other sources, guys. I said, God damn! 23 bucks. No, I know! You don't gotta tell me! This shit, look at this, bro. Yeah. But that's the tankless water heater, and we're gonna wire that up to the power of the water and everything else, so that's what they're working on now. Okay. And then, like I said, putting those flood lights on the outside out here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for the on the, I want them like each parts of the, like the house. Everywhere. In the corner. Yeah. Lit up. Yeah. Like Christmas. I like to start with bad in the circle. Come on. All right. <laughs> Come on. This is my main man, Paul, right here. Right What's going on, bro? He's the electrical team, so. How you doing, bro? So, as you see, I'm down here digging the hole because your cast iron pipe is cracked. So we got to swap all that out, dig it out, put a new coupling on it, and then we'll put PVC so that, like I said, your stuff will flow properly. And then we're going to do that on this and then on that. Okay. So they didn't do that on the last unit. No, I don't think so. You might be in trouble. So, but you'll have all new bathroom plumbing in this one, in this side. Yeah. We get done and you'll have PEX ran all up under this half of the duplex. So, and then the other one, which yeah, I just gutted this one out, right? Gutted it, painted it. You'll see the shingles on this half already done. So. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this ain't breaking time, man. Let's get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> so when you start opening up older homes, man, you starting to figure out things, you know, are not always all way together. So it's always things that go outside your budget. And currently, this project is running us at probably about $30,000 over budget. But I think if you do it right the first time, you don't have to do it again. So we're gutting out the kitchen, gutting out pretty much everything, getting all the old stuff out and pretty much making it new. So all new windows, it's gonna be all new kitchen cabinets, uh, all new pu uh, plumbing pipes. Uh, but I think it's gonna turn out really, really nice though. Like you said, man, what's your plan, man? Like, dude, dude, they gonna love this when you get through, man. Oh, yeah. You see what it's doing already gonna yeah. do with the neighborhood? Yeah, yeah. Make sure How it's gonna change yeah. it? The neighbors and everything have been coming by saying, man, it looks wonderful, man. We appreciate everything y'all doing. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. gonna just look. So they said you gotta call the city, though. I already called them. You gotta, you I called Public Works. So they came out, but I guess you gotta do extension 311. Oh, so they came out? Yeah. They came out. The water department came yeah. out, but you gotta call the city. Oh, okay. Kind of in places where you know we wouldn't interfere with the electrician when they came out, so they'd have ease of access to the walls. Yep. And then, like I say, won't slow them down. And then we just kind of use them. new, new windows, windows right here. Yep, new windows right here. So, so what we gonna do here, man? Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to avoid putting those frames back up there. The frames that was around it, because like I say, it's an older kind of older feel to it. Yeah. And so if I can modernize it, and so what I want to do is, like I said, I'll bring this out flush like sheetrock, so you'll have a little lip here, and then it'll look, have a more modern look, then you won't have all those big ass frames. Like I said, we'll just paint right up to the windows. Yeah. Yeah, bro. This is what I was, uh, this is what I could have had two months ago. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I tell you, man, we're going to come down here and get it done, man. We ain't trying to try to play with your time or your money. No. Put new locks down here, so. Okay. 
All right. So, like I said, once you told us to go and start focusing on the other one, we just secured this one up and ain't really did much to it. Though. Okay. We using it as a storage. Storage place. So, doors, windows. Come and then, on. Like I said, they gonna come down. We was able to find three new panel boxes for you. So, you'll have three new panels in here all wired up. Okay. So a lot has changed uh, since the last time we were on. We thought we were gonna be complete by November the 30th, but I came down here last week, found out it was no work being done. And that's kind of one of some of the challenges you have when you're investing uh, from a city that you're not living in. Uh, sometimes you can't really come and check on the work and see what's being done. So I had to hire a whole new crew uh, to come and really make some progress. And they have been making tremendous progress with everything going on with the house from all new windows to really gutting it out. Uh, so we're making a lot of progress. We're probably tracking for the next two weeks. We should be done with both of the duplexes, but you know, hey, it's always been something happening. Now we have a whole flood. So the sewer line or uh, the storm drains are not being cleared. It haven't been cleared in years. So all the water is flooding on the property. So we have to take care of that as well but I'm super pleased with the progress my new crew is making and uh, we should have some masterpiece for you real, real soon. So make sure you all wanna see and follow the journey. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment to the I'm Josh Sand Real Estate Edition and you can learn a little bit of something about real estate investing. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Marche, this is uh, Joshua Mundy. I spoke with you like last week sometime uh, letting you know that I was investing in your district. Uh, I'm here in Montgomery right now and was looking to try to con connect with you before I left. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thank you. So really been trying to connect with the council people in the area uh, just to let them know I'm here. You know, I, I want to be a part of this Montgomery community uh, because I'm going to be investing a lot uh, in this city. So just want to meet the council people, uh, meet the people that's really in charge in the city and the direction that the city is going so I can really, you know, make some good investments. But I'm really, really pleased with the progress of what's coming along. I finally got the good, a good crew, you know what I mean? A better crew than what I had. And uh, by next week, man, we should have a finished product. Now it's costing me a lot of money, you know, it's, it's really, but you know, it's all gonna be worth it in the end. Though. Up in your city, cause the crack gone And your ass still ain't got no backbone I been on like a track phone I ain't going back home Say what I do, trick Yeah, I think I'm taxed on Go where I live, oh You gon' need a chaperone Go where I live, oh You gon' need a chaperone